there we are, Tom McGuire and the Brass Holes there. We'll stop right there. And I am now joined by the man that did the horn arrangements here. Hello. Mr. Liam Shaw, how are you doing? I'm Welcome good, to Radio how are you? Ian? I'm good, honestly. No, yeah. we're delighted. We're at the Edinburgh Jazz and Blues Festival 2019. And uh, I want to pose this question to you. I had a chat with you after your Port Cordoba gig about this, but are you, or would you consider yourself, one of the busiest men in Scottish music right now? Um... I don't think I consider myself. I feel I feel like I'm I'm busy and I'm doing a lot. I don't really have a lot of free time to watch um, Better Call Saul. <laughs> so I need to catch up on that. But uh, now recently I've been I've been pretty busy uh, playing quite a few bands now, nowadays. Well, let's talk through these bands. So you've got Cordo Out on your release. We'll talk about that one in a minute. Tom McGuire and the Brass Holes. You have Aku. You are a member of Graham Costello's Strata. You've also yeah. been on tour to Japan. Am I right in saying? Yeah, that? with the Scottish National Jazz Orchestra. Oh. It's uh, that's yeah, that, that was a real treat, and we went to New York as well. We were in, we were playing Rochester Jazz Festival. Uh, la- was it last month? Yeah, three weeks ago. That was that was awesome. Yeah. Well, a jam-packed schedule for musicians. Let's let's begin this now. Firstly, Quarter Alto, and they played on Friday, so unfortunately, uh, you cannot see it if you're tuning. Unless you have a time machine. Oh, and that what incredible! How incredible will that yeah, be? Yeah. I wish <laughs> I had a time machine to go back to a couple of the performances, particularly. Uh, better featuring Kitty, which we'll play later on in the show, which was unbelievable. Let's talk through that night. It was your your first official gig. You'd, I know you played the Blue Arrow. Yeah, we played the Blue time. Arrow kind of as yeah half of that band, and then it, it was it was billed as called called Alto, Alto, but I don't really can consider it our first gig. That was our, our debut gig was definitely at the Edinburgh Jazz. Festival. Absolutely. So Corto Alto, what is it? Explain to the public. Well, it kind of started off as just a a kind of vehicle in which I can put my compositions mostly le- like jazz hip hop based kind of um afrobeat style compositions and film them and just record them with my friends and put them on youtube so it's not it wasn't really supposed to be a band um it's more of a collective of cuz if if you watch the videos you'll notice the lineup kind of changes a lot um so yeah, it's collective it's, more it's, of like, it's more of a collective it. but it, it it was yeah it's just a, a a way in which I can put out my music but now it's kind of became a band which is really nice and it's all full of people that I hang out with all the time and all my friends and yeah well people you hang out with right now you are part of the epicenter of this new wave of Scottish jazz this buzzing Glasgow jazz scene and, and what's it like to be part of that yeah it's great I mean uh, me and Graham were talking about this this morning because I was kind of trying to get trying to see what what questions you'd ask me by <laughs> asking him? <laughs> I may have labelled you guys superstars last night with that lineup, like rock star lineup with yeah. Strata. No, I, I mean Graham. Yeah, Graham certainly. I, f- I feel like started a lot of this stuff off because I mean he's he's one of the, the, the other guys that's in everyone's bands. It's the same with Fergus McCready and, and Joe. Well, I mean all the guys in that band are absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's such a treat to play in that band. And every show is completely different. If you haven't checked out Graham Castell's Strata live, it is absolutely obscene. Yeah, we so, were such a good show. at the gig last night, and uh, it was part of that new wave of Scottish jazz. You had Michael Michael Quartet. It was, it was very weird, kind of massively contrasting elements of yeah, like the, yeah. the two sounds. But, I mean, you had the powerhouse of, of Matt Carmichael on sax, and then suddenly you had the, the sounds of Harry Weir on saxophone after yeah, that, Yeah, they're, they're two phenomenal saxophone players, but completely different players. It's, it's amazing. I play, I play with Harry all the time. I've not played with Matt too much, but I've seen Matt play a lot, and... They're both just absolutely ridiculous. And that's what's great about the Glasgow jazz scene is, you know, you get two, two people on the same instrument that are, you know, doing completely different things. Well, doing, to, to, to the layman, doing jazz tenor saxophone. But you go see gigs and they're just completely different in their own ways and completely amazing. And yeah, Harry's one of my favorite musicians in the world. He's just total expression total freedom he's, he's a monster musician well let's combine harry and graham and let's talk aku oh yeah yeah what on earth is this well this is kind of harry's brainchild of uh, uh i'm gonna make liam buy a uh, an octave pedal and then make <laughs> liam play bass lines for an hour and hope he survives because it's quite hard to play bass lines on trombone if you're just never never stopping uh-huh but uh yeah i mean yeah i've survived every gig so far but yeah, it's it's. What, what would you describe the sound as for? Is it's, it's very it's, niche. It is niche. It's it's, it's hard. No, no one's certainly in Scotland. No one's doing anything like it. I think it's kind of based off a lot of Afrobeat and hip hop stuff. But um, yeah, with a lot of kind of free jazz influence, a lot of kind of DIY scene influence, a lot of rock. It's just like it's it's an absolute punch to the face every gig. Uh, 
yeah, it's 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 really really cool. And you guys are playing the jazz festival. We're playing on, I think we're playing on Friday. I'm not sure where. Uh, Harry ball. Harry's really good at saxophone, not very good at telling me and Graham the details. That's, so that's good organization. I can tell you, you're <laughs> playing eight thirty at the Jazz Bar, Liam, on uh, on Friday, on Friday oh, the nineteenth. Oh, another gig. No, there you are. <laughs> Before you might, you never know. You are that busy. We're gonna take a little break. We're gonna play a song. Uh, introduce this one uh, for us, Liam. This is uh, our new Corto Alto single featuring one of my best friends and the fantastic vocalist Kitty. Uh, this is called Better. Better There featuring Kitty by Corto Alto. It's Ian Leggett here on Radio ENRG at the Edinburgh Jazz and Blues Festival, joined by Liam Shawhall. Hello. And that's better. Hello. Why not keep saying Again. it? Again. Uh, yeah, so that's Corto Alto. Uh, you were just saying, uh, in terms of releases, how's it going to work with this band? So the plan is we're going to release a new video slash single um, every three weeks for the next year. I say this now, now I've jinxed it. But uh, yeah, so we're recording again. We've, we've recorded these first four tracks. We recorded uh, No, that's the, the song title. It's called No, and then one called Otrolado, and then Apple, and then this is their new one, Better, it came out on Friday. So then three weeks on the Friday that's just passed, we're, we're going to release one more, uh, another track. But, so this week we're recording four more tracks. It sounds more complicated than it is. It's, it's just releasing an indie track every three weeks. So Graham <laughs> said to me yesterday, we, we spoke with Graham Costello just before the Strata gig, actually, and he said this was kind of like your brainchild, your baby, that you've been brewing this. Uh, like, yeah. How did this, how did this all happen? Well, I've been producing like, hip-hop and making kind of sampled beats for, for ages, just as a hobby. Uh, and I've got an album coming out at the end of this year under... A different name, which um, is anonymous, so I'm not going to tell you. But so a little, I, a little sneak peek. No, nah, no, nah, you're not. There we are. There we are. <laughs> so I'm going to have a yeah. So I've been making like hip hop tunes for for a while, um, and I always wanted to play kind of my stuff live. So it, it started off as that, but then it's just I just like writing, uh, yeah, music. So <laughs> what I like about it, like I was saying to you before, is that it, it's you know it's like you said, it's got these influences. It, it reminds me heavily of. It's particularly better like almost like georgia smith and ezra collective that kind of mm. new wave sound that's coming out and what's really exciting is you guys are young you know playing it but also the people that are listening to it are yeah. young as well which is it is exactly what we want that's what's yeah that's what's kind of taking me back about, oh yes my pizza's here this is unbelievable yes. and this Thanks is so from much. the edinburgh pizza geeks they've been uh, delivering us free pizza here so go and check Thank them out so on tv real place oh this looks so good that um, anyway, describe that for radio. Actually, that okay. There's so, so I got I ordered, I actually asked for this, this lovely lady came up to us. Oh, mm. that's that's Charlotte, by the way. Charlotte came up yeah. to us and said, uh, um, "Does anyone want a free pizza?" And obviously, the answer to that question is always yes. Why would you? Not? Um, so sitting in front of me is a. I just said, "Get me a surprise." <laughs> So in front of it me looks pizza. unbelievable. And I'm pretty surprised. It looks like you got some vegetables on it. We got some leaves. We got uh, who knows? Yeah, is balsamic onions. vinegar on that? I think that's balsamic. Yeah, like a get a, get, get a taste of that. How's yeah, it taste? All right, we got a live taste on air right now. Okay, here we go. Have a bite. This is actually the second interview I've done in a month where I've eaten pizza. Oh, go ahead. Here we go, live on air. It's a big bite. It's a very big bite. Goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. You heard it here first. I think it's goat's cheese. <laughs> Sorry, goat. Yeah, we give us our out of five, what we taste in food wise. How's out of it? Five. Oh, five. That's a weird uh, rating system. Yeah, I know. I'm going for it. Sorry, do you want me to do, you want me to do 10? Out 20. Out of 12. <laughs> out of 12. Out of 12 I'd that? definitely give it an 11. An 11? Yeah. What's the missing ingredient? Well, some, I don't know. Some pep pepperoni, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to complain. I got it for free. Like. You did, you did, you did. And it's a wee pre-show gig, uh, pre-show uh, snack right now. Nice right. homemade pizza. What's happening this afternoon? Um, so I'm playing with a sextet called the PS Sextet. So three Italian guys, amazing musicians, uh, Giuseppe, Matt, and Enrico, a guitarist, piano, and trumpet player, have joined me, Graham Costello, and David Bowden, to form this uh, Italian Scottish crossover sextet, we only met a couple of hours ago when we rehearsed. The music sounded really good, and we're about to play at the Teviot House. What are we expecting? What kind of music is it? Uh, I actually brought one of the Corto Alto tunes, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna play it. I rearranged uh, Otro Lado for the band, <laughs> so that's like a big arrangement of that. So that's gonna be that's gonna be really fun to play. It's quite it's quite hard. I was I brought it because I I play guitar on that tune, and I was like oh, I'm the 
Yeah, they're not going to be able to play this, man. Nah. <laughs> I, I only I can play this. And the guitarist is just an absolute monster. And just sight read it all. I was like, all right, fair enough. Well, this is, uh, you actually <laughs> say, so you play guitar in that track. Uh, and you also play guitar in Better. Yeah. And that, that was your first time playing guitar yeah, on Friday stage? Yeah, Friday night was my first time ever playing. Because I just, I, I kind of want to keep my guitar in my bedroom. Because uh, I quite like just the... Being able, the no pressure, because my work is playing trombone, so obviously there's kind of a little bit of pressure for me to get better and me to practice yeah. actual things that are going to make me get, get better and stuff for work. So I've kind of kept guitar in this little thing of, of secrecy where I can just play it. And, and what was it like? What was it like bringing it out? It was, in, it was interesting. I, I, I realized I can't stand up and play guitar. That's what I realized from, uh, from putting that gig on, because cause James was standing, and I was like, oh, wait, I've never really played guitar <laughs> standing up. So, so I, I had to get a chair. <laughs> well, yeah, honestly, you crushed it that night. It was an unbelievable gig. Thank you. Um, and you've also got PS Jazz Sextet right now. Um, you're going to be part of Strato Expanded. We have a little chat with, about, with Graham about that. This seems incredibly exciting. Yeah. Strings with Strato. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely epic. Well, right now you're hearing Ultra Ladder. <laughs> 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 We met on the street basking in Glasgow during the Commonwealth Games in 2014. We were all in Mikey Butcher, the saxophone player. We were just basking as a duo, just trolling the sax on the street. And we've seen them guys, Tom and Andy and Tim, on the street. Basking as well. We were kind of walking past them. I kind of was a sax player. We can find a spot, so we're like, oh. We played it for a second couple of times just because we were scared of these. And then, uh, and then five years later, we were now we were playing, we were doing an album. And, uh, <laughs> so I skipped part. I skipped part. I skipped part. I can't remember any of the two. It's, um, no, if you haven't checked out the album, please do. It's self-titled. Yeah, it's a self-titled video album. It's Tom's, Tom's, uh, genius. Uh, he's, 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 he's such a genius. Yeah. Yeah. Our, Our songs, songs on the surface may seem just like happy old good funk songs, songs, but they're actually, if you, if you listen to them, they've got another, another, another level of value to so There's more meaning behind Rick Flair than just. Oh, oh no, 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 that's, 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 that's the boring way to Rick Flair's the boring way. I mean, pretty much everything that actually now I'm with now. A lot of the songs are really, really deep. You guys are playing around the song. I know you're hitting up Belgium Festival. Yep. You are. I'll be there. Uh, so next week. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. For, a, for a very, very busy, busy man, your schedule seems better. What's going on? Uh, it's it's in my phone. My phone is going to go. But didn't the rabbit was next week. That's cool. Nice. 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 And you got PS Jazz next day. You're also playing Akin. You're playing Orion. All Stars. You're playing Strata Expanded. And anything else. Uh, uh, the festival, uh, festival uh, Brass, 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 uh, August the 16th, the summer hall. And that's part of the Keep going, keep going. Festival. Yeah. 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 Keep going. Yeah. 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 Obviously, the jazz festival is way better than the French. Yeah. 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 There's such a good album, there's so many good tunes, I'm going to get you to pick one. We played uh, Stop Right There, but I tried to go off on here. Just put the finish returns on to scare all the, the, the jazz fans. Yeah. <laughs> Is it jazz? No, no, it's not jazz. It's a, we're in the jazz festival. Let's put on... You can play whatever you want. All right, well, let's start the next time. It's got Johnny with him, who plays, you know, Alphamist. Yes. Johnny, the trumpet player from Alphamist, plays on the next time. You might not know that, that's a fun fact. He's one of my really good friends. Well, you heard it here first on the radio. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. Good luck, go do your sound check. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Diminished returns.